hello everyone so in this particular video we are going to see how actually we can handle this particular error import schema failed error so this kind of the issue generally people are facing nowadays so let me show you how actually we can handle so whenever you are using data set as a azure sql database so whenever you are using azure sql database as a data set so while selecting table even though we are selecting a table after that also we are getting a this kind of the issue like import schema failed so let's see how actually we can handle this so what you have to do so i have created one data flow let me show you this particular error so in a source if i select a data set as a sql database so first i have to select the azure sql database click on the continue link service let me create a new link service so i will select a link service so this version as a legacy we have to select uh, subscription we have to select server we have to select and the database we have to select we have to give the username and the password so let me give all the details once you will do that click on the create so our uh, now link service is ready now if i'll click on the table if i select the sales lt address after that if i click on the ok even though i have selected the table name i am getting a schema import failed error how actually we can handle this so to handle this you have to click on the import schema as a none first click on the none click on the ok once you will do that so this particular error will get resolved now if you go to that particular data set in this data set this is the data set we have created right in the data set option you will see all your data set now from here you can select the particular table so this is the table we have selected now click on the preview you should be able to preview your data so if you are uh, using any sql database so import schema you have to select as none and then this particular issue will get resolved so while creating a data set first uh, import schema none you have to select you have to come to the data set and you have to select particular table name and uh, after that uh, again you will go that particular issue will get resolved so like that actually you have to handle so i hope you got the idea